companies in the, the West Midlands that fall within the remit of the Becky project are those who have got a product or service that mitigates against climate change and that can be those with innovative sensors that minimise the, the energy usage within households but it can also be those who have got a product that could just be applied to the construction process. The Becky project is important because the sector it operates in, the built environment construction sector, is really important to the UK economy and it's also very important in minimising the CO2 generated within the British economy. 40% of all CO2 emissions comes from this construction sector. We are speaking to the stakeholders that have got many thousands of units each and we're providing them with the solutions that are out there in industry. We believe that it's really important to have a business to business partnerships to get products to market. Our research has shown there's several key areas where we work, we work together with others to make the biggest difference. One of those is within the building sector, which Becky's active in terms of refit and also new build, and we've got strengths in that region. But the other one is just joining up all the great work that's going on around the business to business sector. So we support business clubs and networks and universities so the right people can get the right information to get the right products. And if we can get that right, we've got a great future for the West Midlands. The Becky project is really trying to drive down carbon emissions from existing housing. So it's anything to do with retrofitting of existing housing, large scale uh, housing associations. Um, we, uh, those are the guys we, we work with to try and um, ultimately you know, reduce the carbon emissions. We try and uh, best find out where we can be most effective. Sometimes it's, it's business development, sometimes it's product development, but sometimes it's training. And we're, we're happy to engage in, uh, in any, any and every where, particularly when we've got the, uh, the might of the university behind us, we're trying to best integrate the academic uh, sort of involvement along with our involvement, along with the SMEs that uh, were there to help. Involving um, the university in the, the Becky project in a wider sense will allow companies to access expertise that really suits what they're trying to do, not just be given a specialist um, who might not take them in the right direction. But the Becky project, the Becky team, will source throughout the university people that are specialist in a specific area that will help the company. As a unit, the, the Becky guys will have finite resources but because we're, they're attached to the university with all the expertise in all the different um, schools within the university, all the different faculties, they can draw on that expertise. Heat Genius is an intelligent way to heat your home. So um, there are already products on the market that allow you to control your heating from the phone. So if you have a smartphone, you can turn your boiler on and off now. Um, that's one thing, but actually there's a lot more that can be saved by actually zoning your home and splitting it into individual rooms. What's the point in heating rooms that you're not using? You, you may be in the house, but you might have a room that you're a spare room or a, a downstairs room that you're not using if you're upstairs. So for people who are working from home, from people who are um, kind of going out in the evenings, it's actually now something you can control in, in kind of real time on your phone. We were looking for, for different ways to engage with business really and um, approach some of the universities because we knew that universities have good links with business generally speaking. Um, Wolverhampton seemed to be doing a lot with business and we came across the Becky project through that. So searching on the internet and, and, and finding you know, kind of good links was, was what we were looking for. It's given us a really good chance to engage with some customers that we probably wouldn't normally get the opportunity to gauge, engage with. So initially we obviously want to talk, sell our products straight to consumers, but for B2B sales that's much more difficult for a small business. So the Becky project has give us an given us an opportunity to work with housing associations, which is a target market that we really want to enter into, but it's very difficult to break into as a small business. Green Engineering Limited is an SME and we are involved in research into innovative energy saving systems. The support we've received from Becky has enabled us to move forward quicker and with more confidence. Um, they've allowed us to have access to uh, all the um, contacts that, that we require. We just don't have, as a small company, uh, the facilities. We moved into the Becky project uh, sort of seamlessly and they allow us to have access to all the facilities to contact suppliers, customers and uh, academics as required. We needed help to move those projects forward to make them into commercially viable projects and the Becky project, the Becky Hard to Treat Challenge was one of the key moves in us moving this forward. 
I think organisations like Becky are vital for SMEs. Uh, it's very hard to get the level of support you require. We're a very, a very small company, a micro company, um, and without the infrastructure there, it would be impossible to get as far as we have done so far. We are Ergo Home Limited. Uh, I'm the director, Paul Chadwick. Uh, we make factory finished homes. So these are prefab, you might want to call them, but they're unique because they're not assembled at site, they're finished in the factory and delivered ready to use, a bit like a motor vehicle. The Becky project we, we got involved in was under a retrofit banner, so some of the technology that's developed since we've built the units is around air handling and air management. Uh, some of the extra efficiencies we can drive out of this eco home are hots running in the summer, pre-cooling air, and then cold running in the winter where we preheat the air and the, the Becky project we've been involved in is about optimising that process to minimise the total energy consumed. The Becky project is important to the industry because retrofit is an opportunity for the industry in the coming years. For the UK to meet its challenge of minimising climate uh, CO2 emissions by the target in 2050, it has to reduce its CO2 emissions by 80%. Now if you think that our refurbishment rate at the moment on existing housing stock is half a percent a year. It's going to take a, it means that at the current rate of improvement, we're still going to be occupying 80% of the existing housing stock. So we've got to make them more efficient. And if we don't make them more efficient, the problem of, po of uh, fuel poverty is going to continue. So all of these aspirations of bringing in new products and services minimise the cost to the occupier, minimise fuel poverty, and that's what everybody wants to achieve. The process for a company getting support from the Becky project is literally to engage with one of my business development managers. These business development managers have got access to the academics within Coventry University and the University of Wolverhampton, and they identify what is required to support that particular business. It can be everything from very detailed technical appraisals right through to very light touch marketing and uh, product development aspects. So the whole range of business support can be provided to these companies. If anyone was wondering whether to uh, engage with Becky, I would wholeheartedly suggest that they do it because our experience has all been positive and we are looking forward to working with them again in the future. I would say if anybody was considering being involved with Becky, absolutely do so. Um, you've got nothing to lose by going, to, going forwards with them and everything to gain. Hi, I'm Mark Thompson, Managing Director of the ASON Group. We specialise in the portable energy market and we invent solar generators. Our aim is to really bring products to market that's really going to meet the challenges of 2020 and 2050 carbon foot reductions. And how are we going to do this? Well, we've invented stackable inverter systems where we can power homes, commercial buildings, portable buildings. And this is done by using solar PV panels, storing it into a battery system and then changing from the batteries to 240 volt electricity and bringing nice products to market like LED lighting that will help our products last a lot longer. And also, as energy and fossil fuels need to be reduced, we're about bringing this to market, working with the University of Wolverhampton. Hi there, my name's Sam Bailey. I'm the inventor of the Skyrad solar space heating system. Now what Skyrad have done is they've uh, designed a new uh, space heating system that uses solar energy, not just to heat your hot water, but actually to heat your home as well, uh, replacing to a large extent the central heating system. Now, uh, what many people don't realise is that actually heating your home is about a third of your total energy consumption. So that's over everything. Transport, electricity, it is dominated by heating your home. What we've done is created a system which even in the winter in the UK, on a, an old uh, solid walled typical UK house, we can retrofit a system which will reduce your energy consumption by up to 80% just by using available solar energy, um, storing it using our special installation system um, and then slowly releasing that energy into the house over the winter. What it also does is it cools during the summer uh, so we can actually reject unwanted heat uh, overnight 
uh, cooling the house so that during the day it remains cooler. What this can do is it can reduce the risk of deaths from summer overheating, uh, can protect the vulnerable um, during the winter when their temperatures drop uh, and help alleviate fuel poverty. It also reduces damp in the building uh, by maintaining a, a higher temperature uh, and keeping it drier. Uh, overall we think it's a fantastic system, uh, specifically targets the UK housing stock, um, can be retrofitted uh, easily, cheaply um, and we'd like to hear from anyone who's interested in our product. Hi, my name is David Cole. The company is called Smart Innovations Grid Limited, commonly known more as SIG. And this is one of our SIG units. Smart Innovations Grid is a company gaining serious reputation for delivering low carbon performance technologies to a diverse range of industries. With energy prices very high and still rising, um, it was uh, inevitable that our product here actually managed to win in 2013 the Low Carbon Technology Award in Birmingham. Many businesses have been making significant energy savings and reducing their CRC by adopting the SIG products. The SIG product can bring in a number of energies such as gas, electricity, water, we can also bring in uh, such items as um, solar and wind. We can also bring in things like light, pressure and also the temperatures at various ends. Our product has been utilised by a, a number of industries and we'd like to think that you could find something where you can manage and measure your energy and reduce your carbon. Please take a look at the website and please get in touch. I'm Toby Kinnaird, Managing Director of Barscore Engineering. We specialise in developing and manufacturing metal products. We work for a wide range of blue chip companies and over the last few years we've been developing a lot of products for the solar and the biomass industries. If you'd like to know more, take a look around our website. Hello, I'm Richard Woods from Energino and I'm here talking about our product Watson. Watson shows in real time how much energy you're using and also how much energy you're generating so you can see how much you're exporting and you could be using for free. Uh, we show you in colours and with numbers. The colours change from green when you're exporting energy, you're generating more than your usual, through to blue when you're importing a small amount, up to red when you're importing a large amount. Uh, by seeing this information you can decide when's a good time to use your products for free. So if you see you've got a couple of thousand watts that you're exporting, you could decide to use that for free to run your washing machine. Um, or if you see that you're importing 3,000 watts, then that would probably be a good time to turn a few things off. Uh, we also offer control systems so that you can automatically use free electricity when it's available to help reduce your bills. So if you'd like to find out more, please take a look at our website or please give us a call. Thank you. Hello, my name is Andre Burgess. I'm the Managing Director and Partner in EMVC Solutions. EMVC stands for Energy Monitoring, Verification and Control. Uh, we're specialists in energy management. Um, that includes all aspects of energy auditing, energy assessment, uh, monitoring and targeting, and systems integration with smart grid solutions. We divide our time between the integration of uh, local intermittent energy solutions, particularly renewables, uh, as well as the delivery of uh, energy efficiency measures into buildings, both commercial and residential. If you want to find out more about us, you can visit our website, which is www.emvcsolutions.com. Hi, my name is Natalie Roche. I'm the company director for stickstargroup.com. We specialise in energy saving um, installs such as uh, solid wall insulation and mechanical heat recovery and other ventilation products. Um, I, our background has been in that but we're looking forward to go into energy saving behavioural change measures. Our company is based in Birmingham and for more details please look at our website www.sixstargroup.com.
Hello, my name is Mark Rosencroft, Managing Director of Miners 7. Uh, we're a UK based company with a UK based innovation uh, of a renewable heat solution uh, primarily for housing in this country, uh, dealing mainly with the problem that we have in winter of a high humidity. We're based in Staffordshire and the Isle of Wight, uh, and we have a roof product uh, which will, will very much last the life of the house. And we also use large thermal stores. Um, this gives us a lot of benefits uh, in respect of providing a robust supply of heat for such needs as sheltered housing, uh, family homes uh, and so on. And to find out more about us, uh, please visit our website at minus uh, 7 or visit our, our offices in Staffordshire. Hello, I'm David Ludlow, Product Production Manager at Inex Home Improvements Limited based in Willinor, West Midlands. We're a building construction company with uh, expertise in kitchen and bathrooms, roofing, external wall insulation, internal wall insulation, delivering projects around the Midlands uh, as far afield as Stafford and, and um, Sully Hull. Um, we're currently involved in 620 properties for Midland Hearts Housing Association in Smethwick and Birmingham, delivering EWI and IWI. Uh, the kitchen and bathroom streams and uh, working with Walsall Council doing void properties. If you'd like to find more about Inex, please give us a call and also look at our website. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I work for Oswald Consultancy and we have developed the Gen Game, which lets householders uh, use their loads to help balance the grid. And we pay you for being able to switch your loads. You compete against other households uh, in your own mini leagues and it helps balance the grid and integrate renewables. You can join on the website. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Hi there, my name is Luke Olley and I'm the assistant manager of a community-based charity called Northfield Eco Centre. We were set up five years ago to help develop a sustainable Birmingham uh, and reduce uh, the carbon footprint of the population and that's what we do. We do community uh, food growing projects, we do uh, energy advice assessments on properties, uh, do consultancy services for businesses on how they can reduce their bills and their environmental impact, uh, education work, uh, we have a bike hub that we're setting up, we Urban Harvest, which is a project about picking fruit and uh, get, donating it to charities. We have a broad range of services to help people reduce their environmental impact, live a more sustainable lifestyle and have fun at the same time as well. If you want more information, visit our website northfieldecocentre.org and come and get involved. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kenny Gallagher from Green Engineering Limited. We develop products for wastewater heat recovery. That's scavenging your energy from wastewater that you usually pour down the drain. We have a series of products which are active and passive units. We are all a bit slightly geeky in as much as we like to look at things from a different angle. So we turn technology around, have a look at and see if we can improve it and combine it with new technologies and see if we can do things slightly better. The sole purpose really is to save energy and to promote better energy use using this new technology. To find out more, please visit us on our website greengineering.co.uk or give us a call. Thank you.